privilege to be here, it really is. Um, I'd like to also, I won't go through everyone's name, but I will acknowledge our local member Meredith Hammond and our councillors who are here, Andrea Corrado, who many of you probably know from this area, but is a new um, councillor for our board, and Carla Burgoff, who's a councillor for Hammersley Board, who's joining me today. When we do things at the City of Stirling, we often talk about the collaboration. When we fund different projects, when we fund different organisations, collaboration is always one of those things we really like to see. And I can honestly say in my time in the city of Stirling, I've never seen a project collaborate as much as this one. To, to see the stars up in front of us today, um, absolutely incredible. Across all those government agencies, the, the transport, the health, the community, and then every one of those not-for-profit organisations that we work so closely with, we're starting with Wadja and the Sudbury's and the Smiths and, and all those different organisations. And again, I won't go through it, but I'll start to miss some. I think that's what this project has been all about. Um, we've been really pleased sort of as Wajuk Hub here uh, to form an MOU uh, fairly recently last year, uh, signing an agreement to ensure there's continuous funding for this organisation, recognising the importance the Wajuk um, Northside here played in bringing the community together and being that hub for, for the whole of the Melbourne community. Um, but to extend that now, to have this project, to have the social inclusion project in Mirabooka, Bill, to see your, um, your energy as you come up here, I can see that's probably been the driver behind this because it's, ne it's never easy to bring so many different groups together. But I can feel the energy in the room and I can see the work you've probably done to coordinate this from North Metro. So I congratulate you. Quite often with these sort of projects, we celebrate the end result, and it is fantastic to have the walking trail with the stories of our Noongar elders. It is something that can be shared. And Again, knowledge is everything. When we, when we go along on that reconciliation journey, which is so important, I know to everyone in this room, uh, knowledge is a key to that. Knowledge and learning along the way. But to go from the beautiful Binner Parkland now, which has um, won you know, national awards, that journey, I think is one of those things that's enduring past, past any project. So that's, um, that's a credit to all of you who've been involved uh, in that project. So I will finish on that note, because I know there's a few other people to speak. Um, I was really pleased to hear as well, I just want to mention these 16 days um, of stopping violence and to have Jessie's parents in the room is really special. Um, she's got a special place in all of our hearts, so I encourage you to, um, to get involved in that project. And lastly, make sure you go outside and get that sign. So thanks very much for having me. And thank you. Do you all have your popcorn? No? Okay. 